just so you know, I actually did do my research here and I double checked to make sure that this wasn't a joke website. This wasn't a fake news website because I, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. I, I literally thought this was um, like a new on this website was a new onion, but no, apparently it is legitimate. Um, feminist snow plowing system brings Stockholm to a standstill. Feminist snow plowing system. Fem oh my god. These people are idiots. Feminist snow plowing system. Like, how do those words even go to get, oh my god. Okay, I, I live in Canada, and in case you're not aware, we have a lot of snow here. And if anyone had the idea to say, hey, let's, uh, you know, pry it Let's make a feminist snow plowing system. Um, I wouldn't even bother leaving my house when it snowed. I, I really wouldn't because it would be forever before my street got plowed. Now, mind you, I, I do have a good set of winter tires, but they can only go so far. Um, I don't have a. I, I used to have a pickup truck. I just bought actually an SUV, and it only has front wheel drive. But still, you know, there, there's there's a world of difference between all-season tires and winter tires. But again, the winter tires can only go so far. Oh my god. My god. Okay, let's read the article. A feminist strategy for clearing the roads, uh, roads of snow in Stockholm, Sweden. That's not how I would say it. But anyways... A feminist strategy for clearing the roads of snow in Stockholm, Sweden, ended in failure as the city grounded to a halt in recent days. A new system suggested by progressive politicians in the Swedish city tore up the tried and tested snowplow routes and diverted them to areas said to be used more by women. What? Like, aren't the, you know, traditional snowplow routes... Also used by women? Like, see, how it works, like, when you live in a city in Canada and it snows, the plows will first go for the most popular streets. Like, your main streets and um, all, all the all the streets that not necessarily have the most people on, but get the most traffic. And then they'll spread out uh, to the back streets. You know, get get the get the big rocks first, and worry about everything else later. Um, and I, I assume I'm going to say that you know Sweden probably has something very similar to that. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um, and you know the main like the main arteries like why aren't they being used by women more? But, I mean, who, who, who the fuck cares, right? But the inevitable consequence was that, like, was that other spaces, like main roads, were clogged up for longer, and it became impossible to get around. Well, yeah, I, I bet. I, I really bet. That girl is really hot. There's this embedded video here. Let's watch it. Oh god. What the fuck? So you have this guy trying to get up like a hill that's not very steep. I'm guessing he probably doesn't have winter tires or. And this guy is stuck and is trying to get out. And have. Like, look, people here pushing this guy out. People pushing this guy out. What the fuck? Who the fuck's up? Who the hell's idea was this? You fucking idiots. God, you're an embarrassment. You you really are. You're an embarrassment to the human species. Whoever the fuck came up with this, you should not reproduce. You, your genes need to be removed from the gene pool. Fucking hell. All right. Public transport failed. Traffic piled up. And injuries requiring a hospital vi visit reportedly speak. Respite. Oh, I, I believe that. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, it, going, like, caring for the women's more by plowing routes that are more used by women. I don't even know how the fuck they calculate that or determine what routes would be used by women more. <sighs> fuck.
fucking retards. Uh, so you winded up uh, causing a whole bunch of people uh, more injuries, which uh, Swe- I believe Sweden has uh, socialized health care, like our single payer health care, like we do in Canada. So you wind up co- costing the taxpayers more, and traffic piled up. So I'm going to also assume that a lot of people just didn't make it to work today. So you caused all these problems, winding up actually costing your country a lot of fucking money because you don't want to appear sexist. <laughs> fucking idiots! <sighs> Jesus Christ. The disaster st- struck despite a $270,000 increase in this year's snow removal budget, meant to help the new system succeed. So we'll just add another two hundred seventy thousand uh, dollars to just fucking throw it out the window. Just light it on fire. Fuck! Oh my god! How can these people be this stupid? Seriously? Fucking hell! Okay. Uh, scene from Stockholm. See, so usually well equipped to deal with stormy weather. Well, it doesn't look so well equipped. Although, where I live, um, I don't think they know what snowplows are. I mean, I'm being facetious, but uh, they, they don't know how to properly clear streets. Anyways, that's just me digressing. Anyways, um, the gender equality strategy came in last year after politicians in in the Swedish Green Party... Oh my god! Swedish Green Party. Argued that the old way of clearing major roads in central areas favors men... What?! Okay, let me get this straight. You're arguing that clearing the major roads is sexist because it favors men. Do you fucking idiots hear yourself? Do you? Do you hear yourself at all? You want well, to fucking morons? Uh, Swedish Green Party argued that the old way of clearing major roads in central areas favors men who are more likely to work in the city and get there by car. Okay, so blah blah blah. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Instead, plows were sent to clear out sidewalks and cycle... What? Okay, let me read this again. Instead, plows were sent to clear out sidewalks and cycle paths on the basis that women walk and bike more often. Okay, even if that's true, um, what's going to have the, uh, the, the bigger impact here? Not clearing the walking and cycling paths, or not clearing the main the main roads. Um, again, and, and this is just anecdotal, but when it snows, there tends to be less people wanting to go outside, less people wanting to walk somewhere. And, and this is just in my own experience. And I'm, I'm going to venture a guess to say uh, Swedes are like this too. You know we. Canada and Sweden, we both live in countries that get a lot of snow, uh, but we don't like being outside when it's snowing, if that makes sense. Um, but, uh, I don't know, m- maybe I'm wrong on that. If there's any Swedes in my audience, please let me know. Do you like being outside when it snows? Canadians, not so much. But, you know, we kind of got to put up with it. Okay, so... Okay, here. They also focus on areas like kindergartens, which children and parents visit in the morning. Well, yeah. Okay. The the pub this public information Swedish there. This public information video in Swedish, but still comprehensible, illustrates some of the ideology. Well, let's watch it. Om du jobbar med kvalitetsfrågor och konkreta verksamhetsförbättringar, då kan SKLs startpaket för hållbar jämställdhet vara något för dig. Se själv! Det snöar i Sverige. Och när det har snöat, 
Då plogar kommunen gator och torg så att vi kan ta oss fram. Har det verkligen med jämställdhet att göra? Okay. Oh, ja, eftersom kvinnor går och cyklar mer och åker mer kollektivtrafik medan män åker mer bil får kommunens snöröjning olika konsekvenser för kvinnor och män. Den här ojämställdheten kan vi sätta siffror på. Det är tre gånger fler gångtrafikanter än bilister som... Okej. Okay. I, I, I know, know what they're saying here is that when, like, um, since women are more likely to walk to work or whatever, they're also more likely to slip and fall. Now, again, this, this is just a personal anecdote, but there is a right way to walk on ice. And that way is to basically walk like a, like a penguin. You take very small steps. You'll never have a problem. I actually cannot remember the last time I fallen down. I think I was in high school, and I'm almost 33 right now. It was the last time I slipped on ice and fell down. Um, so if you're living in an area where you get a lot of snow, you should know how to walk on ice. But then again, I also see a lot of people fall. So some people are just fucking idiots skadas i singelolyckor på grund av halka. Och de flesta av dem är kvinnor. Vård- och produktionsbortfall till följd av halkolyckor kostar fyra gånger mer än vinterväghållningen. I Kallskoga kommun analyserade cheferna snöröjningen ur ett könsperspektiv och insåg att de prioriterade typiskt manliga områden. Först röjdes ringleder, ofta sent på natten när bara någon enstaka långtradare passerade. Efter ringlederna röjde större gator, särskilt de som ledde fram till mansdominerade större arbetsplatser. Sist röjdes busshållplatser, gång- och cykelvägar. Kommunen prioriterade alltså snöröjning för män framför snöröjning för kvinnor. Det gjordes förstås inte medvetet. Yes, yes, we, we get it. The snow is misogyny. The snow is nature's misogyny. Fucking hell. Man gjorde bara som man alltid hade gjort. För att komma till rätta med problemet fick kommunen tänka om. Det är svårare att ta sig fram till fots än med bil genom en decimeter snö. Därför beslutade man att ploga gång- och cykelvägar före bilvägar. Förskolor fick nu prio 1 eftersom det är hit föräldrar ska först innan de åker till jobbet. Större arbetsplatser fick prio 2 men nu omfattas också större kvinnodominerade arbetsplatser som lasarettet och olika kommunala inrättningar. Gång- och cykelbanor till skolorna fick prio 3. Först när det här grundläggande nätet öppnats fortsätter snöröjningen med resten av gator och vägar. Det blev inte dyrare för kommunen att snöröja i den här ordningen. Däremot blev kommunen mer jämställd när det gäller fördelning av resurser. Det gjorde också staden mer tillgänglig för alla, särskilt för barn som inte har valet att kunna ta bilen. Okay. So that wasn't as comprehensible as I thought it was, but he still got the ba- basic dress. Oh my trick. Oh my god. All right. Uh unfortunately, the theory did little to save Stockholm when a bumper snowfall hit when a bumper snowfall hit at the end of the last week. Indeed, almost a week later, buses are still struggling. A week? A week. A week later. Oh my god. 1700 uh, public transport passengers are planning to sue. Yeah, I don't fucking blame them. Progressive politicians have gone on the defensive. I don't really see how anyone could. With the MP who suggested it, claiming that snow pa- that snow plows hadn't executed the gender e- equal plan properly. No, I think they executed it pretty par properly. Uh, this is what happens when uh, gender politics gets in front of everything. It fucks everything up. Despite efforts to defend it, the plan became a laughing stock. Oh god. Even liberal pu- publications like Stockholm's whatever the fuck 
published this morning's listicle of nine alternatives to feminist snow removal, including satanic snow (laughs) removal, melt the snow, melt the snow with burning crosses, and neoliberal snow removal, the invisible hand of the market will remove it. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. That's pretty fucking retarded, though. I would love to know what every one of you guys thinks. Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Steve Talonet.